Microsoft introduced its first quantum computing chip, suggesting that quantum computing could be realized in years, not decades. This aligns with similar projections from Google and IBM, indicating that a transformative shift in computing technology may be closer than previously expected. The company's Majorana 1 chip integrates 8 qubits, the essential units of quantum computing, onto a compact, sticky note-sized piece of hardware. Microsoft envisions this chip as a stepping stone towards systems capable of supporting a million qubits. While its current functionality is limited to solving mathematical problems that confirm its operability, engineers believe it lays the groundwork for future quantum advancements. Microsoft's breakthrough signals progress in utilizing the unique particles that enable quantum computing, potentially leading to data center applications and innovations in the fields such as chemistry and healthcare. The company stated that the Majorana 1 chip is more resistant to errors compared to competing technologies and cites a forthcoming research paper in Nature as supporting evidence. Notably, Majorana 1 is the first quantum processing unit, or QPU, based on a topological core, specifically designed to scale up to a million qubits within a single chip. To understand Microsoft's research, think of Majorana 0 modes as special quantum states that appear at the ends of certain superconducting wires. Unlike normal particles, which have separate matter and antimatter versions, Majorana particles are their own antiparticles. In quantum computing, multiple Majorana zero modes can work together to store information. Scientists can perform calculations by carefully moving these particles around each other in a process called braiding. This method is highly stable and resistant to errors, making it a promising approach for building powerful quantum computers. To create a quantum computer using Majorana particles, scientists need a way to measure their state reliably. Microsoft's latest experiment focuses on doing just that. The researchers built a special device using two materials, indium arsenide and aluminium. This setup allows them to measure an important property called fermion parity, which tells whether the system has an even or odd number of electrons. To detect this, they connected the superconducting wire to quantum dots, tiny regions that trap and control electrons. By observing changes in the quantum dots, scientists could measure shifts in fermion parity with great accuracy. Their results showed a very low error rate of just 1%, proving that this method is effective for studying Majorana particles and advancing quantum computing.